Lauren Haynes, who had written a song about what he was already watching, the student protests in China, having no idea that what was about to happen in Tiananmen Square would alter his perception of, of what was going on and have to alter his song. Welcome to you, Lauren. Thank you, Stephanie. Sit down and relax. It's not easy to, to get it going at 9 o'clock in the morning. No, it's not. It's now, to be here. this is fascinating, the story of how this song came from your heart and has been altered, and it's very visceral for you, is it not? Yes, it is. I, um, I wrote this song, as you said, before the massacre had happened uh, in China, and I just was, um, I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where I spent a lot of time, and I just got very, very moved by um, the whole situation for many reasons. One was the peacefulness of it, which is ironic now, but what happened. Yes. Um, the organization, the fact that you could have 100,000 and more people there gathered, and they still were able to have a lane open for the ambulances to come in and come out and take the hunger strikers. Um, and the cause, the fact that they were willing to, as I say in the song, risk their lives, which we now know they did, uh, and gave their lives, for a cause they believed in freedom of speech, democracy, which we have here, mm -hmm. and um, often is abused. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was very caught, that's what initially caught me to the, to the whole movement. I couldn't get away from it. And the song basically came out, I wrote the song in two days. Um, I started making notes and so forth and then wrote the song, the music to it about two days later. And you wanted us not to forget about it too, Absolutely, obviously. oh, that was, um, that was it. It needed to be heard by us, again, initially, uh, on the positive side or the idealistic side to say, look, we can still do this. Let's not get jaded. Let's not be cynical. Um, we can still make a difference. It's interesting you say that because in reading about what happened just this morning in some of your material, what happened in Tiananmen was referred to as the ill-fated effort. Well, for them to think it went for nothing, of course, is the tragedy you would like, like to avert and work against. Absolutely. And I don't believe that at all. Um, you know, the... the um, uh, seeds of freedom have been planted in the consciousness yes. of the minds and it's going to continue to grow uh, it's a shame that so many lives had to be taken mm -hmm. and there is a step back uh, but absolutely not it's not ill-fated I, I don't want to believe that well and you hear that with, with such a strong voice from those uh, Chinese natives who are here stateside absolutely. it'll be fascinating to see what happens to this song and the lyrics that have been smuggled in along with tapes as we understand the interesting thing about Lauren Haynes, which caught our eye even before this happened, was that you are multifaceted and you do well at all of those efforts. It's not just a PR bit of business. As a photographer, he has shot photographs like this. This is a self-done, self-photo, is it? That's a self-portrait, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you, I guess you call a self-photograph a self-portrait. And where, what are we watching here? This uh, was in the Philippines. This was in Manila, and this is some children I did. I was in there, um, uh, Philippines, doing a film. And I brought along my camera and did uh, some black and white photographs. You were there as an actor? As an actor. Uh-huh. Who happened to study with Strasbourg and has done off and on Broadway. And who is this? This is little Steven. Uh, he's a musician. Used to play with Bruce Springsteen. They'll hate me yeah. to say that. But he's been involved with Sun City <laughs> and many political uh, projects. Yes. Pat, Pat Benatar. Benatar. This, is a, this was a cover shot on Spin Magazine. That's right. That you shot. What a beautiful shot of Thank her. Thank you. Also and Pat that was Benatar. Pat used for Sun City, which little Steven organized. Oh, and here we have what? That's Bono from U2. Uh-huh. A French magazine, looks it's like? It's in a French magazine. That's been running a lot. A lot of my photographs, um, I have them syndicated, and they, a lot of them run in, uh, in Europe and get sold in Europe. What do you do best? I don't know. I don't know. But you're Hopefully. doing them all. I'm doing them all, which is very, very nice. It's, um, it's kind of come full circle. I started as an actor. Actually, I started as a musician and then let that go as a career. Uh -huh. um, picked up acting. My family was all involved in theater, and... I was very obsessed with psychology, and somehow that led me to Strasbourg acting, and then Strasbourg, and it all kind of connected. And because acting is um, a tough career and jobs are far and in between, I then picked up photography to make extra money. That career kind of took off on its own right. So for three years, I basically just did that and let go of the acting, because you know, if you're going to build careers, you've got to put your energy in, into one place. Um, then decided photography wasn't quite enough, and I wanted to. I was in New York at the time decided to come to Los Angeles and try and work the acting back in now along with the photography, which had given me confidence in myself and, yes. and uh, an ability to kind of support myself. And the acting came here and started acting again quite a bit Boy. and uh, wrote a screenplay, um, <laughs> which the protagonist in that is musician. And somehow vicariously, I started writing songs through this character. Um, I applied them and put them into the screenplay. And we got, along with the screenplay, made a demo tape and got that out. 
And that got a very, very strong response. Wow. And that's how this whole music thing kind of started. So now they're all connected. It, kind of it, nice. They are, and it has unleashed the muse at work in him over 20 songs in four months. Uh, his mother was raised in France but born in Russia, the youngest dancer ever in the Ballet Russe, and the story of his family never stops. You will hear more of Lauren Haynes, and if you'd like to hear him in person tonight, at At My Place, which is a wonderful little house in Santa Monica, the number 213-451-8596 is where you would make reservations for tonight only, 8 o'clock. And will you be doing your Beijing song tonight? I will, tonight? yes, I will. You bet. Lauren Haynes, On the Map. Good Thanks, to meet Stephanie. you. Thank you.